all right? In two years, but you know what he did? He got in, he did his research, and he said, you know what? I'm all in, I'm going all out. And he did. He made that decision. And there are other, there's a couple other guys in here that are like that, all right? And I really admire and appreciate that out of in anyone. But I can guarantee you, life tells us that the people that can make decisions are the successful people. People that make slow decisions are not as successful as people that can take information, process it, and go with it. Kevin DeLapp, would you come up? Kevin asked me why I had him on life. I said, man, you saved some of the best for life. Oh. I, uh, I guess this machine works out there, so, uh, good afternoon. Hey, that was really good. You know, because what I was going to say next is, is, by the way, I'm the last speaker of the day. Let's try that again. Good afternoon. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. Uh, how many of you as people would call yourself enthusiastic? Raise your hand. Enthusiast, man. Enthusiastic people, a lot of them. How many would call yourself just happy? Happy, yeah, okay, there's a few. And then how many would just wish I'd get that over with and uh, let's go on with the show? <laughs> there we go, that's what I was waiting on. Okay. Here we are. Rise. Reclaim your soil. Farming for the future is the name of this presentation. My name is Kevin DeLapp, and I work with David Bartow. David Bartow is the one that got me started in this. And what I'm going to show you next is what I do. And at the very end of this, you'll see why I do this. A buddy of mine was the one that filmed this. I had to get my brother to drive that combine because he, he never usually drives it. It's always my job. But today he's driving it, and I got my uh, my new fruit, my son-in-law driving the other wagon. I was taking the picture. This is what we do. We're in production agriculture in the, in the state of Illinois. Grow corn and soybeans, about 2,700 acres. Me and my brother, we bought this farm in 1980. It was appraised for a certain amount. Dad says, buy it. He says, you'll never get another chance in your lifetime. Buy it again. We, we bought it for what it was appraised for. That happened to be $1,400 in 1980. What that is right there, that is an auto wagon. And what we do is that combine that's out there in the field, it doesn't ever stop. Once it starts through the day, we keep that auto wagon under it. It delivers the grain to the trucks, the trucks take it to the house, dump it in a pit, take it to the bin. We don't, we don't want to stop that combine. It, it costs anywhere from $150 an hour to $200 an hour to operate it. This coming up right here is why we do this. Right there, that's the Delap family. That's my kids and my grandkids right there. These little guys right here. That's the reason we do this. Farming for the future, that's the name of this that I'm doing today, which means we will have to prepare for a new normal that farmers must understand. Now, what does that mean? Well, 
farmers, they, uh, <clears throat> we have hardware out here on the farmers that we have to know everything about. We have software. We have GPS tractors that drive themselves. You have to, my dad, he'll say, hey, drive that thing, let's go. Wait a minute, dad. We got to program the computer. It won't go. Just hang on. So we have to put in the field, type it all in, get that all ready to go. And then we start. We have to learn all that. We have to learn about the chemistry of the plants. We have to learn about the genetics. What can you spray on them? And this new normal here is, now we're going to have to learn about the biology of the soil. And farmers, they're sitting there, we've got to do what? We've got to learn something else? We don't need anything else. We can't even make our tractors go without a computer. Now we have to learn about the soil? But the soil is the building block of everything we do. It's like having 50 flights of stairs. The soil is the first flight of stairs. It's awful hard to get to the second flight of stairs if the first flight of stairs is not there. How are we going to do that? So we have to consider the soil and the health of the soil to be farmers like we do today. RISE. RISE is the name of me and David operation. That's our group. RISE means reclaim your soil. Anybody ever have one of these things that starts buzzing while you're giving a speech? I could dump that in that water. I'd probably cure that. But it is on vibrate. Reclaim your soil. From all the harsh treatments farmers and growers alike have put their soil through over the past 125 to 50 years, such as pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, and synthetic fertilizers. There's places around the world, like Dr. Lalitha said, they farmed their soil over there for 1,500 to 2,000 years. And their soil is in better shape than ours because they've took care of it. We are industrial agriculture. We can't leave our soil layout. We can't put it in a soil bank. We can't grow clover on it. We can't grow alfalfa on it when you're paying $300 to $400 an acre cash rent. That just don't pencil out. It's not going to lay out. We are going to farm it. That's why we need us a product like we have in Sumagro. All across the world, we are faced with this question. How can we produce enough food to feed 9 billion people by the year 2050? That's quite a question. I think from uh, from the year 2000 to the year 2011, we've increased a billion people, up to 7 billion. By 2050, we will be at 9 billion people. So me and David, here, here we are. We are on a mission to preserve, protect, and increase our soil's health on our farm, my farm, and others, our neighbors, and his. So last year, whenever I was at this meeting, I sat back there in the back. Uh, I was a, maybe in a little bit of shell shock. I got to hear everybody that got up there and talked. I was trying to catch every now and then. I'd catch a word out of every ten. But I did remember something when I got home. So here's how we got started. This is, this is a dandy little picture right here that I have to show you. This little guy right here, that's my newest grandson. He's 11 months old in that picture. He's older than the combine. It's about two weeks old. And then this one right here, this is my dad sitting right back here that I brought a while ago. We drug this tractor out. I was eight years old when dad bought that tractor. There was only two tractors like it in the county. Had 125 horsepower. It was a big, big tractor. We had started it for 27 years. It had set in the back of the shed. We got it out the other day. We pumped the oil through the journals backwards. We drained the oil, the diesel fuel. Fired that thing up, we got it out. And I can just see Dad now, he says, hey, we got to restore this thing. So I got me another job going on too. So here's how we got started. Phil Little, right back there, he called us up one day. He said, hey, we've got to get ready and we got to go to the uh, Illinois Soybean Association meeting to the Yield Challenge. We won some kind of prize. Well, the Yield Challenge up there, they keep everything secret. Everything we've turned into them. So this year's data that we've collected 